Greetings, everybody. Nick DiVirgilio here, and today we're going to have some fun with the fantastic Roland VAD504 V-Drum Acoustic Design Drum Kit. What's the first thing you notice about this kit? Well, maybe it's the fact that it looks like an acoustic drum kit. These drums are real wood shells housing Roland's state-of-the-art trigger sensors. The sizes of the drums and the cymbals are like a real acoustic drum kit. So when you sit behind the VAD504 kit, you're going to get a real drumming experience. Something as simple as drums with the sizes that you're used to playing on makes a massive difference in the feel from behind the kit. You can also adjust the tension of all the heads to fit your exact playing style. The drums come with this really nice looking Midnight Sparkle wrap and beautiful chrome hardware. A non-musician would look at this drum kit and not know it's an electronic kit. This kit can be used in so many situations. At home as a practice kit, it's great because the sizes of the drums are typical drum sizes. You can practice with the same movements as if you're on an acoustic kit, and to me that's a really big thing when you have to move back and forth between an acoustic kit and an electronic kit. There's a lot of muscle memory when it comes to playing drums, and this kit gives you the ability to get those movements together as if you were on an acoustic kit. Aside from that, this drum kit would be great for house of worship settings, schools, musical theater, and really on any live stage. This version of the VAD acoustic drum kit comes with a 14-inch PD-140DS digital snare. There's eight sensors underneath the head. It's a very realistic feeling drum. There's a 10-inch rack tom and a 14-inch floor tom. The kick drum is the 20-inch KD200MS. It has a very nice feeling pad that is housed within a Mylar drum head. So when you strike it with the beater of the kick drum pedal, you're actually moving a little bit of air, which is what a real kick drum feels like. This is one huge highlight of this electronic drum kit. For the cymbals, you get a set of 14-inch digital hi-hats, a 14-inch crash cymbal, and the 18-inch digital ride. The digital versions of the snare, hi-hat, and ride cymbal give you a lot more nuance and playability, which makes those instruments react more like acoustic instruments. This kit comes with some very nice heavy-duty hardware, too. You get a combination stand for the rack tom and crash cymbal, and on the other side, you get another heavy-duty stand for the ride cymbal. The ball joints on the tom holder and cymbal boom arms are fantastic, and you can adjust the instruments to the exact spot you want them to be. A few hardware pieces that this kit does not come with are the hi-hat stand, the snare stand, a kick drum pedal, and a drum throne. I've used Roland E kits with many different brands of hi-hat and snare stands, and I've yet to find one that did not work. So most likely, whatever hardware you have at home will work, but make sure you talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer, let them know what you have, and they will let you know for sure what you need. To round it all out, you get the fantastic second generation TD27 sound module. The original TD27 module was great, but they made it even better with more sounds and editing features. Now the best way to show you how cool this kit really is, is not to talk about it, but to play it. So I'm gonna go through a bunch of the presets here and then come back with some more details.
There are 75 preset kits in the TD27 and 10 of the kits are brand new. A bunch of the legacy kits were fine tuned and tweaked by the folks at Roland and they sound better than ever before. That's because the sounds and a lot of the technology were taken from Roland's flagship TD50 sound module. You can shape just about every aspect of every drum or cymbal in your kit. In addition with all the amazing sounds and presets the TD27 comes with, you can also import your own sounds with an SD card to completely customize your playing experience. If you have a DAW at home and you like to record, you can get 28 channels of multi-track audio via a single USB cable. You can also use this kit to trigger sounds that are inside your computer from third-party plugins. With all the great sounds that come in the TD27, the ability to import your own samples and how easy it is to connect to third-party plugins, your sound palette is literally endless. There's also Bluetooth inside the TD27 so you can stream music directly from a mobile device and practice along with your favorite music. You can also easily expand this kit because it has four trigger inputs on the back of the sound module. There's also a headphone output, the master stereo output, two direct outputs, and a mix input. You also get regular five pin MIDI in and out. Now I wanna take you around and show you some of the highlights of the TD27 module. The biggest highlight of all of them is how easy it is to use. Everything is right there in front of you. You can deep dive and get into all the, the tweaking features that it has to offer, but if you wanna just turn it on and play, you can certainly do that and you could change the sounds right from a couple knobs on top here. So there's four knobs on the right side of the panel here that have white lights around them. Now these lights can change to all kinds of different colors that you can customize. Each kit has its own lights, but those four knobs can change the sounds of the drums immediately. You have instrument, level, tuning, and muffling. I'm on the very first kit, kit number one. Say you want the tuning of the snare drum higher. Just grab the tuning knob and turn. Just like that, same with the toms. Whatever instrument you hit, it follows immediately. Muffling is a great feature on the TD27. This snare drum right here on kit number one has a nice resonance to it. Maybe you want a little bit deader, just turn the muffling knob. You can go from a lot of muffling to no muffling at all. Right now, Donut 2 is the most muffling you can get. That's like having a ring all around an acoustic drum. This is with it all the way off. So you can hear the shell of the drum ringing a little bit. If you want to change the instrument altogether, just turn the instrument knob. So you can customize any one of these kits directly from the preset just by turning one of these four knobs and then saving it to a user spot. On the top of the box, there's three knobs, backing, phones, and master. Backing is when you send something into the TD27, you wanna hear it, so you can turn the level up there. Your phone's level, of course, and then your master output. Say you're one of those people that likes to get into the weeds and really tweak every aspect of the drum kit and the drum sound. We can do it so simply with the TD27. Just hit the kit edit button. Anywhere that the light is flashing, you can go inside that page and make your tweaks. So right now it's flashing on instrument, hit enter. Now this is a little bit different than changing the instrument with the big knob here on the front of the box. Here you can change every aspect of the instrument. You can change what drum it is, the tuning of the drum, and the muffling, but if you go to edit, which is the button right next to it, this is where it gets fun. So on this particular drum right now, the shell depth is 6.5. That's a typical size of an acoustic drum. If you want it deeper, just turn your knob, and now that's an eight inch drum. Now it's a 12 inch drum. There's no 12 inch snare drums out there, but if you want one in an electronic kit, you can have it. Gosh, it'll go all the way down to, <laughs> this is a 22 inch deep snare drum right now. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Let's go back to our normal size, six and a half. Next option down is your head. This is a coated head. This is a pinstripe head, a clear head, and so on. But these are little differences in the transients and the sound. From a coated head to a non-coated head is not a huge difference. It's just slight, and you get that inside the TD27. You can adjust the overtones the tightness of the snare strainer, so the tightness of the snare wires, whether they're loose or soft. You just keep going down and you can change so many more things. The wire level, the pad pitch, the sweep, the pad decay, and all kinds of things. So this is where you really start tweaking each individual drum and customize to your heart's content. The TD27, just like the TD50, gives you the ability to stack samples, up to two samples per each sound. You do that right here on the sub menu. Use your jog wheel to find the exact sound you want to couple with your main sound set its level, and you're good to go. Then, like I said, you can go to all kinds of different pages. The next one over is pad volume. This is kind of like the mixer. Just hit enter. 
A mixer shows up so you can have the pad level of each instrument you can customize. In case one's too loud or one's too soft, you just adjust it right there. When you want to get out, just hit exit and you're back into that main screen. Next one over is pad EQ. You can adjust the EQ on every drum, on every sound within an individual drum kit. Let me show you one more cool thing before we go on here. You can adjust the ambience and the, the amount of overhead mic you have on your kit. You know, when you play an acoustic kit and you're in the studio, they put a couple of overhead mics on to get the cymbals and the high end of the drum kit. How you adjust those mics, adjust the overall sound of what you're hearing back through the speakers. We can do that here as well. Just go into the overhead screen by hitting enter. You have a bunch of options here. Right now it's on clear. Use your jog wheel to go to the other options. This one is warm. This is gonna add some other transients and other sounds to the drum. So your toms might get a little darker depending on how you move the overheads around. Your cymbals might get a little bit brighter. So you just have to go in and mess with them and see what sounds you like best. This one is dry. If I go back to warm, check out the sound of the tom. A little bit drier. So again, you can really get into the weeds and just tweak every nuance, which is a lot of fun to do. The last few things I wanna show you here in today's video are some of the fun options you get here right on the front of the box. Above the jog wheel, you have three buttons, song, click, and coach. There's some songs that come internally with the TD-27. Just hit the song button and then hit play. You can play along to the songs that come internally. You can add in your own songs into the TD-27 with an SD card and play along to those. So it's a lot of fun and it's all right there in the box. Tons of great click track options, which is really cool. You can adjust the beats, the subdivisions, the time signature, all of those things right within the click function here. Once you have the click set where you want, you'll see the click icon in the left of the LCD screen here. It says off when it's not running. Hit that button. There's your click. Practice. Last but not least, here are some great coaching features where you can work on your time and all kinds of things. Time check is a cool one, but the one I like quite a bit is the quiet count. You can set it to play, let's say, three bars of click and then one bar of no click, and your job is to see how good your time is when you come back in, if you're gonna be right on with it or not. Let's see what I do here. I have it set up for three bars of click and one bar without click. Let's see what happens, here we go. It also gives you one bar of count off so you can get set to play, here we go. Ah, oh, not too bad, 74%. Here we go. Sixty-eight percent, that was worse. Here we go. Fifty <laughs> percent, come on now. That was better, ninety-one percent. Let's do one just for fun in this video. I'll set it up, so I'm a glutton for punishment here. We'll do four measures. Video crew, how many measures of quiet should I do? Right now it's one measure of quiet. What, do you, what kind of challenge do you want to challenge me with here? Three measures, two, three? 30. 30? There's only four measures. Three. three measures. We're going with Miss Becca. She says three measures of quiet. This is gonna be really tough. So I only have one measure with the click, three with no click. How good is my time? It'll only let me do two. Sorry, Miss Becca, we're going for two. We're going for two, here we go. Okay. Let it come back around. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ah, it says 80%. I was a little off. That was pretty good. Now the challenge is, is not to do a simple beat like that. Do something crazy. Want something crazy, everybody? They're in a weird mood today here in the video studio, so I'm gonna do something crazy right now. Two bars of click, two bars of silence, and I'm just gonna go hog wild and see if I can get back on the one in time. Here we go. A 58%. That was better.
I gotta tell you, it's quite humbling when you look back down at the screen and it only says 43%. So it makes you like you think your time's not that good. Your ears tell you your time's pretty good, but sometimes it might not be so good. So it's a great practice tool and it's a lot of fun to just challenge yourself with something like that. And there you go, ladies and gents. This is one super cool electronic drum kit that's awfully fun to play on. With so many great internal sounds and presets, you can turn it on and have fun immediately. Or if you like diving in deep and customizing your own kits, you can easily do that too. You get so many wonderful options with the Roland VAD504. If you want any more information about this Roland product or any other Roland product we carry here at Sweetwater, make sure you reach out to your Sweetwater sales engineer. They will help you get exactly what you're looking for. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Nick DiVirgilio.